Hi everybody, like I said at the end of the last video, we might be right back with some more pickups and the very next day we went out, we had maybe an hour or so that we were out in between uh, getting some errands done and me going to work in the afternoon and we walked in and the first thing we found is another set, another big box season, season 5 of Stargate SG-1. So between yesterday and today we picked up well over half the uh, series now in these big boxes and they've been for some reason a little bit harder to find for us than the slim case ones which are, seem to be a little more common so really happy to get these and again practically brand new shape that was great uh, found also in the bargain room the first season of Roswell a sealed copy of Ring 2 is actually the, the Ringu is not the the Ring 2 it's the original uh, Japanese ones uh, Ghostbusters collectors series we have a uh, a two case set of Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on DVD, but I wanted an individual of this and then uh, the only thing that's left for Ghostbusters that we want is the uh, Criterion release on Laserdisc, that's about it. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a uh, two disc collector's edition, which was really cool to get. We only have this on Laserdisc, that's actually the only format we have this on so far, so I was happy to grab a DVD release pretty quickly and cheap. And Amanda also completed a trilogy, she had one of the three and found the other two today, two book series here that she wants to go ahead and read. And uh, she has a rule that makes a lot of sense if it's a series of books, whether it's just a trilogy or it's something that goes on forever, she does not want to start reading them at all until we have every volume, which you know makes a lot of sense, especially if you never know how long it's going to take you to find some of those different volumes. We have another addition to the doll science fiction and fantasy collection. We have a lot of these yellow label older doll books, like a, almost half, a, actually over half a shelf now, I'm looking at it over there, of them. This is a different one. This is uh, the Doll Science Fiction Reader, a very special anthology. So that was really cool to find. And those we found pretty much entirely at thrift stores, all these old yellow doll books there. And this one, Amanda picked up just because she thought it looked hilarious, and it sounds pretty funny. It sounds like a really cheesy, you know, B-movie plot put into a very odd book, but I've never heard of this publisher or this uh, series of books in any form, so it's kind of interesting to see. If you're familiar with them, let me know. Laser books. But she, as soon as she saw laser books, I had to pick that up. Um, we got that. A uh, Luffy little mini figurine here. Bottom is open, but it's completely sealed inside in the plastic, so it's just the bottom kind of got open there. And Attack on Titan no regrets. Some manga, which is we've not been finding a lot of recently. Uh, past couple of years, I'd say, you know, 2017, probably 2015, 16, 17, for quite a while, we were finding lots of manga, really cheap. I'm talking two bucks and under, uh, sometimes as little as a quarter. So, but this past year, it's kind of shifted more to we've been finding more DVDs and Blu-rays type of thing. I don't know, the manga's been drying up, but I found one there. We added two more of these Columbia House Collector's Edition MASH sets here on VHS. Uh, we have a handful of them, and I just wanted one or two more. I'm not going to pick up any more. We have, you know, it on DVD and things like that. And there's a huge DVD set that we want to also add. And uh, But as far as VHS, most of the ones that we had in this Columbia House series were early ones, or because they're collections that are, instead of just being uh, chronological order, they're collections in terms of uh, related theme. This one is Charles in Charge, and this one is Great, uh, Grace Under Pressure. But even though they've done that, they were also were released in clusters that tended to be these three or four episodes on a tape from seasons, say, one to five. And then the next tape tended to be more from, say, six to eight. And then to get some of the ones from seasons like 10 and 11 seem to be a little bit harder to find. So all the ones we have are earlier seasons, they're more uh, Trapper episodes, so I wanted to grab a couple here that were a little bit the uh, later seasons, which uh, we both prefer anyway, we both prefer more, I mean, I love all of MASH from beginning to end, but as it's changed over the years, we both kind of like the later seasons a little bit more. And one here that, again, was, if we find anything brand new sealed Star Trek, there's a very good chance it's coming home. That is the one thing that we are both so unified in, is that Star Trek there's a good chance it's coming with us, especially if it's brand new sealed. So a brand new sealed, another one of these uh, Columbia House video VHS tapes. And we have one or two of these um, already. We have a, uh, a Voyager one, a Deep Space Nine one, and I think we have another TNG one. And this one, though, brand new sealed and good episodes, too. So this was a pretty cool find, especially, you know, brand new. 
Yeah, that, that's coming home with us, especially because it's a uh, bargain room by weight. It's just maybe like a quarter, maybe. So, brand new VHS tape there. So, yeah, as I said last time, right back here, the very next day, found more Stargate sitting on the shelf. So, things have been uh, pretty impressive as far as what we've been seeing, even the stuff we haven't been grabbing. Because a lot of times when we do these videos, uh, you'll see maybe one to three or sometimes longer months worth of stuff in one go and here it's enough for two videos two days in a row so it's a huge difference than uh, what's what's tends to be usual because I know a lot of times we have some video game stuff in almost every pickups video and we always say but we never find video game stuff that's because the one or two games we find that's in you know three months worth of looking which is 30 or 40 trips you find a couple things so we really don't even though we are always showing stuff uh, but yeah so Hopefully this continues as far as, you know, we've also picked up probably bags worth of resale stuff all, you know, on top of that. So it's just kind of the stuff that's for us. And so hopefully this whole thing uh, keeps going and it snowballs into some great sales for us and some great additions to the collections. It's pretty great when you can get for, you know, a dollar or two or even less sometimes another thing to kind of knock off the list.